Explosive scenes like this one on the campus of UCLA from overnight playing out at schools across the country. All right, as pro-Palestinian protests and encampments keep spreading, Fox 5's Sharon Crowley has been monitoring it all and joins us live from the newsroom with an update tonight. Sharon. Stephen Natasha, students protesting on college campuses across America say they want peace, an end to the war in the Middle East. But to get to that end, we are seeing demonstrators occupy private property and get into heated confrontations with police and sometimes with each other. From coast to coast, anti-war protests flaring up on college campuses. At UCLA, counter-protesters fighting with pro-Palestinian demonstrators who have set up an encampment. Fifteen people were injured when rioters, some of whom held Israeli flags, used pepper spray and threw chairs. The LAPD stepping in to break up the opposing groups. One of the craziest things in my life, I'll, I'll say that, like, i never seen this happen before. i never seen people, like, get so heated at this moment, and uh, it was really bad, I'll tell you that. Students across the nation are angry about the war in Gaza that has cost so many innocent civilians their lives. Many demanding administrators divest from Israel. The unrest prompting classes to be canceled and graduation ceremonies postponed. <laughs> At the University of Wisconsin in Madison, a campus spokesperson says four officers were injured as cops tried to remove protesters' tents from the property. At least a dozen people were arrested there. Similar scenes playing out at the University of Arizona. Police confronting pro-Palestinian protesters, officers in riot gear moved in to clear out tents after students ignored the deadline to move. Here at the University of Texas in Austin, police officers took dozens of people into custody after they ignored orders to leave the university's South Lawn. And at the University of Chicago, an encampment continued for another day. Similar upheaval happening at DePaul University. We don't all feel the same way about the Israeli government, and we all find a way to have that conversation without calling for the destruction of the only Jewish state in the world. So just like here in New York City, police typically wait until a university or college administrator asks them for their assistance on campus. It has led to a number of arrests on college campuses here and around the country, Natasha. All right, Sharon, thank you.